This is the OTB Television Network, a service of Capital District Off-Track Betting. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this week's edition of Horses and Courses. 16 races to bring you, including two outstanding days of racing at Gulfstream Park and the fairgrounds. And kicking it off, the Saturday action at Gulfstream Park. Up first, the Sir Shackleton Stakes, Traveling Man, the 2-1 to one favorite. They're racing in the Sir Shackleton and off to a good start. Action Andy right out for the lead. Spring Hill Farm is out running in second. Whiskey Rebellion third to the outside and they kick off from Bellfire and Traveling Man who has the rail. Captain Candyman can trails and he's seven lengths off of Action Andy who speeds up the backstretch a length in front of Spring Hill Farm and Whiskey Rebellion. Traveling Man is fourth early. He's on the rail. He's three lengths off the lead. And then Bellfire ridden along for more speed. In behind them, Captain Candyman can around the far turn at 22 and 2 opening quarter mile for Action Andy and Angel Serpa. And they're a length in front of Spring Hill Farm, Whiskey Rebellion, and Traveling Man, who's moving through an opening on the inside. And now they're clear two and a half lengths from Captain Candyman can and Bellfire, a 45 flat half mile, and plenty of room for Traveling Man, who comes right by Action Andy at the top of the stretch. Rosie Napravi. Nick and Traveling Man have taken the lead. Action Andy tries to fight on from the outside, and they're well clear of the others. It's Traveling Man. Action Andy trying his best to stay with him, but Traveling Man's pulling away. And Traveling Man wins the Sir Shackleton. Action Andy was second, Spring Hill Farm was third, and then Whiskey Rebellion. And Traveling Man, first time with Rosie and the Pravnik in the saddle, scores the victory as we are on Todd Pletcher Invitational Weekend. Traveling Man wins by four lengths, returning $6. Second start since late summer at Monmouth Park for Traveling Man, who is now five for seven, lifetime at Gulfstream. And now time for older Fillier Mares on the dirt, going two turns in what promises to be an outstanding division throughout the year. Chow Bella, the two to five favorite. They're racing in the rampart. And it's Chow Bella and Successful Song. And the two favorites go right to the front together. They'll be nose to nose in the race to the first turn. Authenticity's away running in third. One last dance on the far outside. And then go on bridle who saves all the ground. And call the 10 is last. Chow Bella, three quarters of a length ahead of Successful Song on the first turn. And one last dance is going to join them to make it three of them close up. And right behind them comes Authenticity, while Go Unbridled is wrangled back in fifth, four lengths off the lead, call the ten trails. The first quarter mile in easy 24 and 3 fifth seconds for Chow Bella and John Velasquez, who continue to be pushed along up front by successful song and Elvis Trujillo, second on the outside. One last dance is third. Authenticity sits just off the pace fourth. Go on bridled is fifth with five lengths to make up. And leading only Call the Ten, who's got six lengths to gain after a half mile in 49 and 1 fifth seconds. So Chow Bella getting things easy so far leads the field into the far turn in the rampart. And Successful Song has been her closest pursuer throughout. She dropped back a bit, but now she edges up a bit closer. And Authenticity and Rosie Napravnik are now looming on the far outside. After that, Go Unbridled has been put to a drive. And then one last dance and call the 10. Chow Bella has run three quarters in 113 flat. And they're into the stretch. And Chow Bella turns for home under a hand ride. Clear from Authenticity, who's second Successful Song has dropped back to third and now John Velasquez lets Chow Bella loose and she responds and pulls away from her stablemate Authenticity and Chow Bella scores in the rampart Authenticity second successful song third and Go Unbridled was fourth John Velasquez aboard the Todd Pletcher trainee scores by four plus lengths returning two dollars and 80 cents coming off of a career best performance most recently 
in mid-February at Gulfstream Park. Chow Bella adds the rampart for the first stakes victory. Now two for two with blinkers is Chow Bella, who had a soft early pace and then just exploded late to win going away. Three-year-old fillies up next in the Gulfstream Park Oaks. And if you have your stopwatch handy, let's keep a look at this nine furlong contest. Very contentious on paper. Dreaming of Julia, eight to five. They're racing in the Gulfstream Oaks and off to a perfect start. Live Lively and Dreaming of Julia go to the front together. And Q the Moon came out running in third to the inside. Emollient is out running in fourth. Original Script is next. And sitting off the pace is Kimberly Jean, who's six lengths off of Live Lively. Live Lively making the pace here on that first turn. Dreaming of Julia second. Emollient is hard to settle third on the outside of Q the Moon, who rides the rail. It's two and a half lengths more back to Original Script. And Kimberly Jean is last at opening quarter mile was 23 and 2. And it's Live Lively. On top by a length and a half over Dreaming of Julia up the back stretch. Q the Moon is in third, Emollient fourth on the outside, and she's settled down now. Four lengths clear of original script. Kimberly Jean has been last throughout, and now she's almost nine lengths behind front running Live Lively, who's gone 47 flat for a half mile. Live Lively and Rajiv Mirage past the half mile pole two in front of John Velasquez and Dreaming of Julia. And now Q the Moon continues along in third. Emollient is losing ground to the leaders. Emollient not going on. Around the far turn. Dreaming of Julia moving now. Right to the outside. Takes the lead. Dreaming of Julia has breezed by. Live Lively on the far turn and she's just doing it with ease. Her ears are pricked. John Velasquez not even moving. Dreaming of Julia pulling away at the top of the stretch. She has left Live Lively and the others behind. Three quarters, one eleven flat. And Dreaming of Julia's running a powerhouse race here. Oh, she's 12 in front. She's 15 lengths in front. She's going to win by 20. Dreaming of Julia devastates the Gulfstream Oaks. Live Lively held second. And then it was Q the Moon and Kimberly Jean. One of the finest performances you will see throughout this year, ladies and gentlemen, in what looked to be a three horse race turned into a 21 and three quarter length official margin of victory for Dreaming of Julia, who won her debut by 10, won her second career start in the Meadow Star by 16 plus lengths but now wins the grade two Gulfstream Park Oaks after being runner up in the Devona Dale after wrapping up her two year old season out in Southern California in defeat in the Breeders' Cup, bounces back and wins authoritatively. And look at that final running time, ladies and gentlemen, one minute, 48.97 seconds. And remember, about two plus hours later, they ran the Florida Derby. Up next, Phillies and Mares once again, but this time a mile and a half on the turf in the Orchid. Egg Marine, the 6-5 to five favorite. They're racing in the Orchid. On Jaws was a step slow to begin. Closing range is going to the front. Game fair on the outside. Starformer came out running in third. Shanakee is fourth early on. Then a gap of another two back to Regalo Mia. Then Irish Mission to the outside. On Jaws, who broke last, has gone by three horses. They are Egg Marine, who is third last as they move into the first turn, racing seven lengths off the lead. Anja Green and Tree Hugger complete the field early on. 23 flat was the opening quarter mile. That's a solid pace for this distance here. Closing range is the leader. Game Fair is a length behind running in second to the outside, while cutting the corner is Shanaki in third as they come into the stretch for the first time. Star Former follows fourth in a handy spot, four lengths off the lead. Then it's Regalo Mia to the inside of Irish Mission. Break of another two. And then Egg Marine, who's unhurried early. Egg Marine just going along seven lengths off the lead under a strong hold from Jose Lescano. And then it's Unjaz to the inside, followed by Tree Hugger, and Anja Green is last with 10 lengths to make up. A half mile goes in 47 and 3 fifth seconds. And they move into that next turn. 
where they continue to be in pursuit of closing range. Closing range on top. Game Fair is a length behind running in second. Shanakee is third to the rail. Irish Mission now moves up the spot and takes third. Starformer fifth and racing three lengths off the lead. Then Egg Marine sent along. She's only a length off of Starformer now. Egg Marine is closer. After that, Regalo Mia on Jaws Tree Hugger and Anja Green is the trailer as they continue the run up the backstretch. And it's closing range joined by Game Fair on the lead. Outside of them, Irish Mission is right there running in third position. Shanakee is fourth along the rail. Starformer is fifth. Egg Marine is just to the outside of Starformer and sent along three wide. Around the far turn, it's a long shot in front. Game Fair is the leader. Irish Mission is right alongside. Closing range is given way. Shanakee is next. Egg Marine's got to come five wide. Also gaining ground is Starformer who splits horses. Regalo Mia swings up on the far outside. They're into the stretch. Game Fair, Irish Mission. Here comes Regalo Mia down the center of the course. And Luis Contreras and Regalo Mia strike the front. And Regalo Mia pulls away in the Orchid. It's very close for a second between Anja Green and Irish Mission and then on Jaws. But Regalo Mia, first time with Luis Contreras. They score the $19.40 upset victory for Michelle Nehi, the first graded stakes victory after winning, coming off of the victory in the Florida Sunshine Millions Turf. Now three for four a lifetime on the turf at Gulfstream Park. Ange Green finishes second with Irish Mission third under Johnny V. Egg Marine, the six to five favorite, finishes seventh in the Orchid. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, more stakes action from Saturday afternoon at Gulfstream Park. With more than 70 convenient locations, internet wagering at CapitalOTB.com, and live operators ready to take your call, CapitalOTB.com is the better choice for wagering on thoroughbred and harness racing. Stop by one of our locations to bet in person or open a Capital Bets account and place your bets over the phone or at CapitalOTB.com. Whether you're on the road or in the comfort of your own home, Capital OTB is the better choice. Listen to what people are saying about the Clubhouse Race Book. It's really nice. It's really modern, open, bright, and there's definitely a lot more machines where you can make your wagers. And I like the fact that it's open anywhere I look. I can see uh, football if I want to or any of the tracks. And I can also see the people that I've seen for many years. You feel comfortable. The staff is great. It makes you feel comfortable. It's a nice place to spend an afternoon on the weekend. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now to take on older horses on the dirt in the Skip Away Stakes. Cigar Street, your 9 to 5 favorite. They're racing in the Skip Away. And it's Golden Ticket and El Doffer on the inside. Pants on fire on the far outside. Cigar Street take charge Indian gourmet dinner. And they're all going out for the lead. Oh, Prado again is after that. And then comes El Casar and where's the baby trails as they race into the first turn and take charge Indy takes charge of the lead. On top three quarters of a length, El Doffer and Pants on fire right behind. These two are second and third after a 23 and four first quarter mile. Cigar Street moves up on their outside. Gourmet Dinner is in fifth and just three lengths off the lead. Then Golden Ticket, Old Prado again, Al Kasser between those two, and they're five ahead of Where's the Baby at the back of the field as they hook up with a back stretch. Take Charge in D. Pants on fire and neck back. Cigar Street is just to the outside of them. And these three continue to lead the way through a 48 and three half mile. Then it's El Doffer, Gourmet Dinner, Old Prado again, Golden Ticket to the inside, and El Kasser, and Where's the baby continues to lag behind. Take charge, Indy and Rosie Napravnik have a half mile to go and they're a neck in front of Pants on Fire and Cigar Street is just to the outside of them third. After that comes Gourmet Dinner who's put to a drive. Golden Ticket progresses in fifth and then El Duffer who's been ridden along around the far turn and Cigar Street moves up to take the lead. It's now Cigar Street by ahead. Take charge, Indy on the inside 
side, pants on fire between them, and three to Golden Ticket, and they're into the stretch. Cigar Street, take charge Indy, fighting him on the rail with a furlong to run. It's Cigar Street and take charge Indy, putting on a show in the skip away. Cigar Street, take charge Indy, continues to battle with him. Cigar Street's got it. Cigar Street and John Velasquez score in the skip away over take charge Indy, then pants on fire and fourth is either Golden Ticket or El Duffer. And Cigar Street, ladies and gentlemen, now three for three down at Gulfstream Park this winter, coming off of the Louisiana Derby layoff, ending the three-year-old season. Just explosive in here to win by two lengths for Bill Mott and John Velasquez. They return $5.60. And last year's winner of the Florida Derby, Take Charge Indy finishes second, Pants on Fire third, Cigar Street now three for three in three dynamic performances on the Gulfstream Park Oval this winter. Back to the turf, going a mile in the Appleton Stakes. Za approval, easy to follow this nearly white horse, the two to one favorite. They're racing in the Appleton. El Commodore fast out of the gate from the far outside stall. Off the jack came out well too. King Creesa, decisive moment up near the pace and Joe's Blazing Aaron. These five for the front, Silver Max is sixth in behind them. Then Cool Blue Red Hot, Za Approval is third last ahead of Beauchois and Omayad. It is King Creesa who emerges up top and decisive moment three quarters of a length behind. Off the jack is third to the outside. They went 22 and four for the opening quarter mile. Then Joe's Blazing Aaron. On the rail, it's Silver Max, who's only three lengths off the lead. El Commodore tucks in behind them. And then Za Provo's getting a good pace in front of him. He's now six lengths off the lead. After that, it's Cool Blue Red Hot to the outside. Boshuan Omayad. They continue their way toward the far turn. And it's King Creesa who went 45 and three for a half mile in front by a length and a half. Now opening up two. Decisive moment off the jack. Joe's blazing Aaron to the outside. Then El Commodore, Silver Max, Za approval moving now with cool blue red hot. Silver Max is waiting along the rail. Beauchois next and then it's Oh My God. They're coming to the top of the stretch and it's King Creesa turning for home with Za approval running right along side and running right on by. Za Approval has taken the lead. Beauchois takes off after him down the center of the course. Za Approval by two. Beauchois running out of time. Za Approval takes the Appleton. Beauchois second. King Creesa held third and then Cool Blue red hot. And Za Approval scores the victory for Christophe Clement and Jose Lascano. Scores at six dollars and twenty cents. The second stakes of victory for uh, Za Approval, scoring the victory coming off of the stakes. Excuse me, the first stakes victory coming off of the stakes turf debut in the Canadian Turf, which was a Grade Two disguised as a Grade One. Beauchois finishes second, and King Creese at thirty-three to one finishes third in Saturday's Appleton Stakes. And now for the $1 million Florida Derby. Once again on paper, it looked like a multiple three-horse race in here. It's my lucky day off the victory in the Holy Bull, your 8-5 to five favorite. They're all in line and we're ready for the start. They're off in the Besselu Stables Florida Derby, and there goes Merit Man. And Merit Man wants the lead, and Kent DeSormo takes him right to the rail, but he's got company from Narvaez, who's second on the outside. Shanghai Bobby is tucked in third, right in behind the leaders as they move into the turn. It's My Lucky Day is right alongside of Shanghai Bobby, and Orb isn't far behind them. So the top three, they're all right together, third, fourth, and fifth on the first turn. Then pick of the litter, Frack Daddy, a three-wide run there for Are You Kidding Me? Pontiff the Maiden is second last. Indies Illusion Trails, an easy opening quarter mile. 24 and three-fifth seconds for Merit Man. And Narvaez is three-quarters of a length behind in second. It's My Lucky Day and Shanghai Bobby are right together. And Orb is two lengths off of them now, running along in fifth. Pick of the litter is sixth on the inside by a length. And then it's Are You Kidding Me? Seventh up the back stretch with six lengths to make up. And they're followed by Pontiff along the race. Followed by Indy Solution and Frack Daddy. 48 and 2 fifth seconds for a half mile.
It's been a very sensible pace for Merritt Man, and Narvaez is right alongside. Two long shots out on the lead, but it's my lucky day, and Orber right in contention. Shanghai Bobby is on the rail in fifth. We'll need a way through if he's good enough. And then it's Pick of the Litter ridden along for more, and are you kidding me on the outside? And now it's my lucky day has taken the lead. Merritt Man is not done yet. He continues to run on second. Orb is put to the whip by John Velasquez in third. Narvaez is fourth. They're into the stretch. It's my lucky day. And Elvis Trujillo have a furlong to run. And Orb comes up to him. It's my lucky day. And Orb, and Orb has run by. And Orb and John Velasquez have won the Bessie Lou Stables Florida Derby. Orb did it going away from It's My Lucky Day. Merritt Man was third. And Narvaez finished fourth in a final time of 1 minute 50.8. Seven seconds. Orb scores the victory, ladies and gentlemen. I have to tell you, I've been watching this race a couple of times, looking at the numbers on the paper. I think a couple of different ways you can look at it. First off, Orb is so sharp right now for Shug McGahey. Uh, that's A. Draws off to win by two and three quarter lengths victory. If you look at the charts, the f horses who were one, two, three, four, five in the opening quarter more mile. Stay in the top five. Very little change in position. The fractional times in here, some of the, I, I think one of the slowest half miles, opening half miles, the boys ran two seconds slower. Final running time, uh, nearly uh, two seconds to the six furlong. But boy, Orb looked very good. If you take the stopwatch out of this, Orb looked terrific, winning by nearly three lengths, returning $7.00. And 80 cents as third choice in the wagering. It's my lucky day, finishes second. And the speedster, Merritt Man, who is 29 to 1, holds on to run third. And Shanghai Bobby, the second choice at 2 to 1. Trouble, traffic early in the race can do no better than fifth as the second choice in the wagering. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, big Saturday afternoon at the fairgrounds. Listen to what people are saying about the Clubhouse race book. I've been coming here for um, well over 30 years to the OTB, and uh, I think this is an outstanding facility. Probably uh, comparable to something you'd see in Vegas. They have the big screens there, and then they have uh, the auxiliary screens for, you know, watching all the tracks. And the primary tracks of the day, they'll switch to the big screens, which is ideal for most of us race guys. We like to see the big races on the big screen. Well done. The Capital OTB Handicapping Challenge Series is back. That's right, the 2013 Capital OTB Handicapping Challenge Series is back, and it's your chance to win thousands in cash and prizes, and a seat at the 2014 National Handicapping Championship in Las Vegas. This month's contest is the Turf Hop on April 6th, so sign up today online at CapitalOTB.com or stop in at the Clubhouse Racebook. And don't forget our show Viber Series, Capital OTB's Online Handicapping Contest. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, turning our attention to the fairgrounds. Up first, three-year-old fillies in the fairground of the Oaks. Unlimited budget, your four to five favorite. And they're off in the fairgrounds Oaks. Andy up, Annie, first start to the season for Shanine Girl toward the inside. There's so many ways on the outside. Flashy Gray, unlimited budget comes up on the outside as they go toward the first turn. They're being led by So many ways so many ways leads fast street gray by two as they go to the back of the track on the outside unlimited budget now third anti up annie is fourth as they settle into stride blue violet fifth followed then by shanine girl promise me more trails it's nine lengths from leader to last the opening quarter in 23 and one fifth seconds so many ways leads to the five and one half so many ways out in front flashy gray keeps tabs on the speed there for junior alvarado and Javier Castellano has unlimited budget third on the outside with Andy up Annie saving ground in fourth. Blue Violet is sixth from the leader. So many ways at the half mile pole, a break of two to Shanine Girl. Still four more. The Promise Me More is now being asked to pick up from out of last. The half mile for so many ways. 46 and four fifths seconds. They have three furlongs to go. So many ways leads by three quarters of a length. Flashy Gray, unlimited budget right there on the outside. Closing in now on so many ways as they come toward the quarter pole. Shanine Girl on the far outside. Blue Violet. Anti-Up Annie cut the corner. Promise me more. Even taking closer order. They're into the stretch. 
where unlimited budget battles flashy gray. They're in the final three sixteenths. Unlimited budget has the edge. It's a short lead though from flashy gray. Final furlong. Shanine Girl is third and is staying on two. They're close to the finish. It's unlimited budget, flashy gray. Unlimited budget. She's undefeated and the Fairgrounds Oaks champion. Unlimited budget has won it from flashy gray. Shanine Girl finished third, then promised me more and so many ways. Unlimited budget in one minute 43 and one fifth second. And making the second start of the year for unlimited budget after coming off of her victory in the Rachel Alexander, she adds the grade two fairground oaks with Javier Castellano in the saddle for the first time. Unlimited budget scores by one and three quarter lengths for Todd Pletcher and Mike Rapoli. Unlimited budget now four for four after an undefeated juvenile season, two for two in her three year old year. Flashy Gray finishes second as second choice in the wagering at eight to five. Shanine Girl finishes third at nearly 25 to 1. Older horses in the 88th running of the New Orleans Handicap are up next. Your 6 to 5 favorite off of his nice victory in the Don Handicap, Great R. They're in the gate for the New Orleans Handicap. And they're off. Good start for Majestic Harbor. Here's Macho Macho. Bourbon Courage fully placed toward the inside. Mark Valeski. Radar on the outside with one circuit to go. It's Mark Valeski who just leads Majestic Harbor and the Don Champion Gradar up close as they enter the first turn. Macho Macho making his seasonal bow. He's fourth. Bourbon Courage now settles into stride fifth as they go to the back of the track. Flat out right there toward the rail. Then comes Dreaming Blue and Strut running Cool Street takes up position in the backfield as they race on to the back stretch now. The opening quarter 23 and three fifth seconds. Majestic Harbor out in front for Sean Bridgerham being flanked by Mark Valeski. Radar right there on the outside third. A break of two. Bourbon Courage fourth with the rail. Outside Bourbon Courage, Macho Macho. Two more to flat out. A length and a half to Dreaming Blue and three to Cool Street. They head to the half mile pole. Majestic Harbor continues to do the legwork here in the New Orleans handicap. His half mile was 47 and three. Mark Valeski is close in tow as they answer the turn. And Great R is also right there. Three furlongs from home. Majestic Harbor, Mark Valeski. Great R right there, too, at the point of attack. Now Great R and Mark Valeski, the first two to commit for home. Majestic Harbor under pressure. Macho Macho. Bourbon Courage, four from the front, a couple of furlongs to go. Flat out has been angled out. Cool Street on the far outside. Dreaming Blue is last. They're at the top of the stretch. Three quarters went in, 111 and four. It's Gradar, Mark Valeski. Mark Valeski just in front. Gradar is battling tooth and nail with Mark Valeski. Closing Macho Macho with Bourbon Courage. They brush. It's Gradar. Gradar and Mark Valeski. Gradar and Edgar Prado. Gradar. Gradar, the New Orleans handicap champion. Mark Valeski was second, just defeated by Gradar today. Then further back was Bourbon Courage and Macho Macho. And Great R, this time not making every poll, the winning one sitting behind the pace setters with Edgar Prado scores the $4.60 victory for Todd Fletcher. Mark Velasquez coming off of his debut as a four-year-old in the Mineshaft victory, finishes second. And Bourbon Courage, who was 0 for 4 since winning the Super Derby, finishes third in this year's New Orleans Handicap. And now the centennial anniversary of the Louisiana Derby, 14 in the field, a million dollars on the line, and revolutionary off of his victory in the Withers, the two-to-one favorite. As we mark a century of history here at the fairgrounds, they're in the gate. They're off in the 100th Louisiana Derby. Hip 469 broke sharp. In between horses, here's Title Town 5. Code West is also buying for this early lead. Ground transport up there on the outside and just tucks in. Proud strike is handy in fifth, and departing is sixth to the first turn. They're just being led by Hip 469, who takes the shortest way around there with Title Town 5, vying for this early lead as they go to the back of the track. Code West just off these joint leaders third. Ground transport fourth, departing settled in fifth. Proud strike is sixth. Nina's drag on a wide seventh. Palace Malice is eighth. Then Brazilian court, my loot, Sunbeam with the rail. Revolutionary. Has been pulled to the far outside there for a clear angle with five furlongs to go. A break of six more to Whiskey Bravo. Father back is Gold Soul, who's last of 14. 
The half mile went in 46 and one fifth seconds. Out in front, still this head to head battle between Title Town 5 and Hip 469. They have four furlongs to go. Code West with a nice tracking trip from third. And Palace Mouse now gains ground toward the inside from fourth as they enter the turn. Just over three furlongs to go. On the outside is Ground Transport fifth, but now gaining ground. And Revolutionary, the Withers winner. Here he comes moving up the ranks. Revolutionary and the Windstar White picking up rivals on the far outside. They're coming toward the top of the stretch. This wide sweeping move by Revolutionary. Right with Ground Transport. Hip 469 is dropped back. Palace Mouse right there too, along with Code West. Palace Mouse gets shuffled. Sunbeam is blocked at the rail. Sunbeam checks hard with nowhere to go. A furlong to go. It's Revolutionary. Here comes My Loot charging on the outside. My Loot and Revolutionary. Then departing ground transport. Far outside is Gold Soul. They're close to the finish. Revolutionary and My Loot. And a climactic finish to Revolutionary. Revolutionary has won it from My Loot in a straring stretch duel. Father back was departing third. The time was 1 minute 50 and 1 fifth second. Boy, the beat goes on, ladies and gentlemen. Revolutionary, who started slowly in this race, has two consecutive victories in stakes action, both of them by a neck, and now has secured enough points for the Kentucky Derby. Todd Pletcher, Javier Castellano, they score at $6.80. My loot, another runner coming off of the pace, finishes second. Now, in this race, the Louisiana Derby, unlike the Florida Derby, the running position's a half mile into this race for the exacta. 12th and 11th. Departing down inside finishes third for Al Stahl in the 100th Louisiana Derby. Up next, about a mile and eighth on the turf, the 21st running of the Mervyn S. Munez Memorial, the 6-5 to five favorite, Amira's Prince. And they're off. Two months rent with quality control. String King up and on the surly pace too. There's the inside. Here's Amiris Prince, along with doubles partner with the white cap. Wilcox in, prominent, along with Tiz Sardonic Joe. They're very well grouped with one circuit to go. It's Amiris Prince closer toward the rail with String King vying for it. Quality Control taking a hold of third and ranked there to the first turn. Outside, Quality Control, Tiz Sardonic Joe, and Wilcox in is fifth as they move around the first turn. Doubles partner is inside Wilcox Inn's quarters as they go to the back of the course, being led here by Amiris Prince, who glides to an opening quarter in 25 seconds flat. Amiris Prince out in front for Junior Alvarado with only token pressure from String King. Here's the inside, Wilcox in, handy in third, Tiz Sajonic Joe fourth. Doubles partner with that foothold at the fence, and right with doubles partner is Optimizer, who's just off the rail. Quality control, the thick of it too. It's Amira's Prince who leads them past the half mile. Then we come back to Bim Bam, six from the front, followed by back in the backfield there is two months rent along with fast track last. Half mile in 50 and four fifths seconds as they go to the far side of the fairgrounds course. It's Amira's Prince being taken on now by Louisiana bred String King. Here's String King's challenge to Amira's Prince as they quicken up. Wilcoxon just slides off the rail. Doubles partner cuts the corner, so too did Optimizer. Tis a Johnic Joe fanned on the far outside. Quality control trying to get into it too. They're in the final furlong and a half. Amira's Prince kept on. String King fully extended now. On the outside, here comes Wilcox in. Toward the inside is Doubles partner. It's Amira's Prince and Wilcox in. Wilcox in, Amira's Prince. Amira's Prince streaks to four in a row. Amira's Prince sees off Wilcox in. String King third, Doubles partner fourth. Finishing fifth closer toward the rail was Optimizer. It was Amira's Prince under Junior. And Junior Alvarado aboard for the first time. Scores the victory under Amira's Prince on the front end. Now three for three in the United States off of the victory in the Mac Germina. They return $4.60 for Bill Mott. Wilcox in finishes second with String King finishes third. Four stakes races this weekend down at the fairgrounds. Four winning favorites in a row. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, action from Oak Lawn Park, Santa Anita, and the Big A. Hey, race fans, head down to the all-new Clubhouse Racebook and get in the game. With live horse racing on more than 250 flat-screen TVs, state-of-the-art wagering terminals, fantastic food and drinks, 
an amazing Vegas-style atmosphere with seating for nearly 900 of your closest friends. Conveniently located at 711 Central Avenue, right off exit 5 of I-90 in Albany, the Clubhouse Racebook is the better choice. No matter where in the world you are, the excitement of wagering on live horse racing is just a click away. CapitalOTB.com offers live streaming, free past performances, analysis and selections from professional handicappers, and a simple, safe, and secure wagering platform. And best of all, it's surcharge free. CapitalOTB.com, the better choice. And we have five state bred races to wrap it up this weekend at Horses and Courses. First, we're going to take a look at the Arkansas Breeds out at Oaklawn Park on Friday afternoon. The Rainbow Mistakes, your even money favorite, Ilse Molly. And they're off. Fast beginning for Miss Atticott. Mini Bear on the outside has good speed, crafty skill. Il St. Molly came away smoothly as well. Pistol Pack and Penny, Portobello's Jewel. They're followed by Proud Kitten, about seven lengths off the speed. Sash A. By has eight to make up. She's too clear of Hicks Honey, and Corner the Storm is at the back. A half mile from home, Eel St. Molly tugs her way to the front, leads by a half length, Crafty Skill. Miss Atticott now takes second. They're followed by Portobello's Jewel, Pistol Pack and Penny at the rail. Mini Bear is next. Sashay by has run. She needs to find room, though, in the pink cap. She is steadying briefly, about seven off the pace. Another four back to Proud Kitten. At the back of the pack, it's Hicks Honey and Corner the Storm. Past the quarter pole and turning for home. Eel St. Molly has her mind on business, and she opens up a length and a half. Miss Atticott is in second. Sashay by gets clear sailing for her run on the outside. Pistol Pack and Penny at the fence. They're inside the final furlong, and it's Eel St. Molly clear by four. A scramble for second. Sashay by moving into second late. Eel St. Molly, ultra impressive in the rainbow miss. She wins easily. Sashay by was second. Pistol Pack and Penny third. Crafty Skill was fourth. And the chalk just keeps on winning on this week's Horses and Courses. Il St. Molly, Molly with Robbie Alvarado scores the victory for Kenny Smith, returning $4.20. Sasha Bai finishes, Sasha Bai finishes second with Pistol Pack and Penny third in Friday's Rainbow Miss. Now Saturday afternoon we had the Rainbow Stakes and your four to five favorite, Goods Gone West. And they're off. It was a clean beginning. Brandon's Way breaks out very swiftly straight to the front. Goods Gone West has some speed on the outside. He's a cat. Moves up now to claim second. And Valid Commander coming through on the fence for third. Rock City Roadhog moving through on the fence with the white blinkers now to claim that third position. Goods Gone West settles in a good spot fifth. He's followed by Arky Bill on the inside of Trace Creek. He's unusual. And Cody Law at the back. Ten lengths covers the field into the far turn. He's a cat narrowly. Brandon's way on the inside. Second. A length and a half back. Goods gone west. Poised in third. Rock City Roadhog on the inside. Fourth. Arky Bill Orange Colors moves up to claim that fourth position. Trace Creek needs to do better. Five lengths off the lead. He's followed by Cody Law, who will be widest of all. He's unusual is next. Valid Commander is the trailer. Goods Gone West makes a sweeping move and takes control of the rainbow. Arky Bill is chasing him in second, shifting in just a bit. He's a cat has given way. Brandon's way on the inside. Trace Creek is rallying belatedly. But Goods Gone West wrapping up divisional honors in a powerful performance, overwhelming the competition in the rainbow. Trace Creek was second. Rock City Roadhog third. Photo for fourth between Brandon's way and Arky Bill. Goods Gone West scores easily by a handful plus lengths on the muddy sealed racetrack, returning $3.60 for Kenny Smith and Ricardo Santana. Trace Creek finishes second and Rock City Roadhog third in Saturday's Rainbow Stakes. Saturday afternoon out at Sanity, a couple races for Calbreds. Up first, the second running of the Evening Jewel Stakes, your three to five favorite, Sweet Marini. And uh, away they go. 
Quick into stride as Mark's mine in the centre. Along the inside, Tildy's going up to join them as well. Alongside of that comes Hail Mary showing good speed. In the white colours, Sweet of Secret has now taken third, doing hard time again as in fourth. Now here's Sweet Marini, pretty keen to go on. Sweet Marini in the blue sleeves goes up a joint third. Extreme outside is Good Party. A gap of four back comes Sacred Delight and then it's Cloudy Moon. They're a good eight off the leaders. Then comes All Golly Molly and Kiana is last. They run into the far turn and Hail Mary on the far side and Mark's Mine, they the two leaders, doing hard time again right there, third, good party on the far side. Sweeter Secret is in there and Sweet Marini at the rail. Now, can Sweet Marini find somewhere to run? She's only two off the leader, got to pick a spot. Running on from behind comes Cloudy Moon. Cloudy Moon's making headway. They're at the top of the lane and Hail Mary goes on to it now, doing hard time again right there. Oh, something's wrong with Sweet Marini today. She's gone. Sweet Marini back up fast they come for home doing hard time again strikes to the front as they come to the eighth ball and it's doing hard time again now here moving like a winner doing hard time again very impressive in the evening jewel wins it easy hail mary second cloudy moon got up third and kiona came from last to get fourth hey finally the chalk loses but it is Doing hard time again with Rafael Bejarano in the saddle for the first time for the Jerry Hollendorfer trainee. They return $9.20 as the second choice in the wagering. Hail Mary finishes third and Cloudy Moon at better than 30 to 1 finishes third in Saturday's evening jewel. Sweet Marini, the odds on favorite, finishes eighth. Also on the card Saturday afternoon at Santita, we had the second running of the Echo Eddie Stakes, your 9 to 5 favorite, Omega Star. And away they go. Omega Star begins well on the far side, as does I'm Denny Crane, who gets a narrow lead, fighting Huzar Red Cap on the far side, and now here comes Fellini at the rail to join them. Surf Cup, Red Cap, one from the rail right there, and could be trouble in the pink. Only two lengths separates all those runners. Then we have Raised a Secret. On the inside, we have Indian Classic keen to go on. Indian Classic pulling his way through at the rail. They've been followed by Love Meister, and last of all is Ali he did it. They run into the far turn and Folini now the leader. Folini to Fighting Huzar in second. I'm Denny Crane is right there. Omega Star on the far side. Ooh, in tight here was Could Be Trouble. Could Be Trouble at a check. Drop back. On the inside, we have Indian Classic and the Orange traveling well. Only three lengths off these leaders. Then Love Meister. Ali did it's winding up from last. They are coming to the top of the lane. Fighting Huzar. Omega Star now comes to take him on. Fighting Huzar, Omega Star's right there. Love Meister's running a big one from the third spot. They come for home, Omega Star. He's drifting out a little bit, takes the lead. Fighting Huzar's tired along the inside, but battling on resolutely. Down the centre comes Love Meister, and with a late run, he has raised a secret. It is Omega Star fighting Huzar, Omega Star fighting Huzar, Omega Star fighting Huzar. Love Meister was third, and Surf Cup finished fourth. Joe Talamo aboard for John Sheriffs. And by the way, John Sheriffs uh, mentioned that he would be coming east and moving his game uh, to Belmont Park this spring. But before he does, Omega Star scores by a nose victory, returning the popular $5.60 victory coming off of the Open Company. Seventh place finish in the San Felipe. Fighting Hussar finishes second at almost 24 to 1. And Love Meister, by far the longest shot on the board, at 128 to 1, finishes third in the Echo Eddy. One more race to bring you this week on Horses and Courses. Saturday Stakes Racing from New York. New York Breads in the Broadway, 2 to 5, Sunny Desert. And they're off. There goes, here's Zalicious. Clear passage away second, followed by Nicole's myself. Father back, Sunny Deserts, who are already about seven lengths from the speedy Here's Delicious. And the last of all is Lady on the Run up the back stretch. Here's Zealicious. Not far behind, though, is Clear Passage. Here's Zealicious, the leader, through the opening quarter mile here in 22 and one fifth seconds. Right in her hip pocket, though, Clear's Passage, second by another three. And then Nicole's Missell's getting closer now from third. Clear Passage mounting a strong bid for the lead here from Here's Delicious. Nicole's Missell just in behind them. 
Sunny Desert asked for more. Got a lot to do and only two furlongs to do it. Lady on the run is the trailer as the field turns for home. Half up in 45 seconds flat. Clear passage, resting a narrow lead away from Here's Delicious. But Here's Delicious continues to battle on. Sunny Desert about to inhale them from the outside. And there goes Sunny Desert. Laid off the pace and blew them away in the stretch. Sunny Desert by three widening lengths at the end, followed by clear passage, photo for third. Here's Delicious or Nicole's Missile. Cornelio Velasquez aboard for John Paracel, this former claimer off of a third place finish in the top flight, makes the Broadway all her own, winning by three lengths and returning $2.90. You remember Sunny Desert had won six in a row before the top flight, including five in a row after finally breaking the maiden. Clear Passage finishes second, and here's Zerolicious, third in the Broadway. That wraps up this week's edition of Horses and Courses. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, another very big three-year-old weekend out at Santita and New York. We will be back here to review all the stakes racing from around the country on the next Horses and Courses.